Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me as we read a psalm a day. Today we are on Psalm 40. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible as I do each day. And feel free to follow along uh, whatever way is the best for you as you walk through these psalms with me. So let's take a look at Psalm 40 today. I put all my hope in the Lord. He leaned down to me. He listened to my cry for help. He lifted me out of the pit of death, out of the mud and filth, and set my feet on solid rock. He steadied my legs. He put a new song on my mouth, a song of praise for our God. Many people will learn of this and be amazed. They will trust the Lord. Those who put their trust in the Lord, who pay no attention to the proud or to those who follow lies, are truly happy. You Lord my God, you've done so many things, your wonderful deeds, your plans for us. No one can compare with you. If I were to proclaim and talk about all of them, they would be too numerous to count. You don't relish sacrifices or offerings. You don't require entirely burned offerings or compensation offerings, but you have given me ears. So I said, Here I come. I'm inscribed in the written scroll. I want to do your will, my God. Your instruction is deep within me. I've told the good news of your righteousness in the great assembly. I didn't hold anything back, as you know well know, Lord. I didn't keep your righteousness only to myself. I declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I didn't hide your loyal love and trustworthiness from the great assembly. So now you, Lord, don't hold back any of your compassion from me. Let your loyal love and faithfulness always protect me, because countless evils surround me. My wrongdoings have caught up with me. I can't see a thing. There's more of them than hairs on my head. My courage leaves me. Favor me, Lord, and deliver me. Lord, come quickly and help me. Let those who seek my life, who want me dead, be disgraced and put to shame. Let those who want to do me harm be thoroughly frustrated and humiliated. Let those who say to me, yes, oh yes, be destroyed by their shame. But let all who seek you celebrate and rejoice in you. Let those who love your salvation always say, the Lord is great. But me, I'm weak and needy. Let my Lord think of me. You are my help and my rescuer. My God, don't wait any longer. Well, that's the end of Psalm 40. What did you think? What stuck out to you? What did you like? What maybe didn't you like? Uh, Take some time to, to write it down. Think about what kind of psalm you think this might be. What category does it fit into? Uh, You know, as I was reading the psalm, one of the things that uh, really stuck out to me uh, was just this idea of don't hold back any of your compassion from me. Let your loyal love and faithfulness always protect me. Uh, And then goes on to say, because evil surrounds me. And I think that's really true, Um, you know, and I love uh, that idea and it's kind of a a tongue twister i almost messed up both times that i've said it now but your loyal love i just you know i know that we know that god loves us and cares for us but just the the way that that's worded your loyal love is faithfulness and is always protects me it's just it's comforting to know that how loyal god is and and that is one of the most incredible and mind-boggling things in my opinion is uh the loyal love that god has for all of us and it says it just in uh verse 10 as well don't hide your loyal love and trustworthiness from the great assembly so not just for him but first he says for the great assembly. And that's one of the other things that really stuck out to me today was uh, the psalmist, possibly again David, uh, how he says 
several times in the psalm that he was not afraid or worried uh, and was glad and grateful and happy to share all of the things that God has done for him in the great assembly. You know, just that willingness to share his faith and, uh, you know, in the great assembly typically means with um, the people of Israel. So maybe that was a little bit easier because he's in front of other believers. But just that idea of sharing the, your faith with people around you to, to let people know that even though there is, at the beginning of verse 12, evil that surrounds me and that there's wrongdoings that have caught up with us because we're human and we make mistakes, but to still celebrate and recognize all the ways in which God does have his loyal love surrounding us, his compassion for us. So that's what stuck out to me today, that idea of, uh, of loyal love from God and that pronouncement of the ways in which God has been active in the psalmist's life to the great assembly, to other people. Uh, so again, write down, share with a friend, share with us what it was that, that really stuck out to you. Uh, we appreciate it when you do it. We love it. Uh, love hearing from you, and I pray that uh, these psalms are something that uh, continue to help you develop a relationship with God uh, deeper and deeper each day, uh, and that uh, you can see how uh, even the psalmist, even David, uh, struggled with things in his daily life and recognized the good and the bad and how they work together in one single psalm. Which means, you know, in, in our daily lives, we have all of that. And that that's not anything that we need to think is a struggle that we have on our own. That people all around us struggle with that as well. And let's lift that up with one another. And so, thank you for joining me today. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. God bless. And I hope you can join me tomorrow.